Hi, uh, my name is Steve Cox and I have the privilege of being the chair of the charity that runs Christians in Media and it's a real privilege to, to be part of this event uh, today. I'm, I'm really grateful to be invited to chat with you about Christians in Media and media in general. Um, I don't know if you know, but the charity that runs Christians in Media is 53 years old this year, which makes it sound very old. Um, it's been around that length of time and it first started when the BBC were exploring how to develop their religious programming on their local radio network. And they approached uh, church leaders, vicars, ministers, etc., cetera, um, who couldn't really offer much help, but there were a bunch of Christians working in media at the time who came forward and offered their services. And that's really how the charity started. And over the years since then, uh, it's been associated with some wonderful uh, faith and media leaders, some really, really top leaders. More recently, um, especially in October 2018, we changed our outward facing name, the brand name, uh, to Christians and Media. And I described that as our Ron Seal Tin moment, uh, when we actually do what it says on the tin, which is wonderful, we are Christians in Media. Um, I think really uh, what I'd like to share with you is that media is such a powerful and influential part of our life. We may grumble about it, um, and sometimes quite rightly so, but the vast majority of people that enter media enter with good intentions. They are motivated, motivated by bringing us truth and calling out those in power and calling out injustice. Um, so really media is so powerful and we really do need to, to lift it up in prayer to our Lord. And um, we, we tend to try to support Christians who are called to serve God in this, in this uh, public sphere, uh, sphere of life. Um, that's our role. We're more pastoral, but we will speak out prophetically um, when we need to. Uh, we don't represent anyone. We don't represent any denomination. We're right across the body of Christ, which is wonderful. We're very diverse, which is very important. Um, but our main mission purpose is to support, um, encourage and inspire Christians who are called to serve God in media. And media is moving at 100 miles an hour, so that's changing every day of the week, isn't it? Um, we want to see Christians called to serve God in media to flourish in their faith, to be influential for the kingdom. We want to see uh, the media content be filled with love, grace and compassion. We want to see churches engaged positively with media and all sorts of media. And that's what we're about. Um, over the years we've done this, uh, we facilitated spaces into which Christians have, who work in media can step into and share their challenges, uh, be prayed for, and also meet and engage with other people. I often think about Christians media not as a network, but more of a family, more of a family of Christians who can actually support each other wherever they are in the country. And that continues today. I know um, during the pandemic, you know, this year has been really unusual and it has stopped us meeting in person, but we continue to engage with our uh, uh, people we're trying to support uh, online. And uh, just recently, we had our very first Christians and Media service, online service with the Bishop of Dover, who gave her personal reflection, which is wonderful, Lucy Grimble, and a host of other people who are part of that service. And it was really encouraging. And just recently, on November the 1st, we called churches to set aside time in their meetings to pray for their local, their regional, their national, and their social media, and to pray for those in their congregations who serve God in media, to pray that they will be salt and light, to be beacons, and to shine for his glory wherever God calls them. And we want to see that happen more and more, and that's why I'm excited by joining you today, because prayer is so, so important. Let me encourage you to pray for media. Let me encourage you to pray for those who work in media. Let me encourage you to look at media through God's lens and not sometimes through our own lens. And let's, let's pray that we can bring kingdom principles into the media. And we've got so many things we've got planned for in 2021. Yes, subject to COVID-19 regulations and restrictions, um, but we've got so much to plan for. We want to see many more young Christians consider entering media as an honourable profession, to see it as a calling from God, to see that next generation coming along of Christians who can really bring influence to, to, to fear. 
I know that some people will turn around to me and say, but I don't have any authority, Steve. What can I do in, in, in my chosen profession? But you have the authority of the Holy Spirit, which I believe is the greatest authority of all, to actually bring influence into your particular area of activity. And I talk about influence deliberately. I, I don't expect people to stand on the soapbox and proselytize. I understand HR regulations and everything else too. But I believe that around those water cooler moments when someone comes to you and you can almost listen and even pray at that time, possibly, uh, but certainly have a loving, gracious ear. In those moments at uh, a meeting, when you encourage someone else who's doing some great work, it, it is in effect counter-cultural. And that's what we are about. Bring God into the workplace and transform the workplace. So I hope this event is going to, uh, going to grow and grow. And, I, and I'm grateful that Christians and Media can help and support in some way maybe a small way, but I also want to encourage people who don't know about Christians and Media to, to check us out on our christiansandmedia.co.uk website to sign up for our regular newsletter and be part of a family of Christians who are called to serve God in media. God bless.